Welcome back to another CUDA software worksheet tutorial on West Explains Best. Today we're going to be talking about spheres and their surface area and volume. So we'll do a little bit of each section. Here we have volume. Here we have surface area. Let's jump right in. So the first thing we need to understand, surface area. We're talking about two-dimensional space, the outside of a sphere. If we had a soccer ball and we wanted to figure out how much paint we would need to cover the outside surface, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about surface area. Now the formula for that is 4 pi r squared. You might remember that pi r squared is the area of one circle in uh, two dimensions. So if we're talking about this sphere, a 3D space, and all the outside, it's very interesting that it's 4 times pi r squared. So we just need to identify our radius. Each one of these, some of them give you the radius, some of them give you uh, the diameter. If you get the diameter, you want to make sure you divide by two. So we'll go ahead and start with number one and we'll do number two and then we'll just uh, proceed from there. So, oops, for number for number one, we're already given the, the radius. So we can um, go ahead and proceed and just plug in four pi times three squared, we get four times pi times nine, we get 36 pi. What are the units? Feet squared. And that's our answer. For number two, pretty easy. We also just, because we recognize this is the diameter, we divide this by two to get our radius, which is six. And we plug that in four times pi times our radius six. And we square that. That's our surface area. We get 36 times pi times four. 36 times 4, I think that's what, 144 pi centimeters uh, squared. Now it says round your answer to the nearest tenth. I guess it, I, this worksheet might be asking for the um, decimal form. So that would be 113 for this one about to the nearest tenth would be 0 0.1. And then 144 times pi for this guy would be 452.4 yeah got that one centimeters squared so just in case that's what the answer uh it's asking for but other than that it's pretty straightforward for the first page let's go ahead and proceed to the second page now we're talking about volume with volume we're talking about all the space inside in three dimensions Again, we need to make sure we have the radius, but for volume, it is four thirds pi r cubed. So another way to think of this is volume equals four pi r cubed divided by three. So whatever way you like better, that's the one you can use. Again, it relies on the radius. So we're gonna take this problem for number nine and we're gonna divide the, the diameter by two to get our radius 21.6 divided by two and we get 10.8. So our radius equals 10.8, and we're gonna plug that into R for our volume. Volume equals four times pi times our radius, which is 10.8. And now we're gonna cube it. One way to remember the cube is because we're talking about space in three dimensions, we need to raise it to the third power. So now I just multiply across. Well, first I do exponents to the third power, and I get a big number here. I get volume equals 4 times pi times 1259.712. I'm going to keep it uh, like that until the very end, and then I'm going to round it at the end. Make sure you try to round at the end instead of rounding as you go. If you round as you go, you're really going to have problems at the, at the very end. So I multiplied this all out and divided by 3, and I get 5,276.7 rounded and my units are centimeters cubed this time. Usually gonna get pretty big spaces for volume. Uh, spheres, if, I mean, we're, we're talking about three dimensions, there's a lot of space taken up in a sphere with a small radius, and uh, it takes up a lot more space than you think. So there you have it. Um, spheres with surface area and volume, hope this was helpful. Obviously, spheres are pretty important. You live on one called Earth, and I hope to see you next time on West Explains Best. Take care.